Hi, my name is Ramonda, and I am a pre-sales consultant at Exact. Today, we'll walk through the basics of Exact Online project management. Let's jump into the process right away. First of all, I want to show you the process flow within Exact Online project management. This process is for all our project management solutions. The yellow circled items are included in the Exact Online Project Management Plus. Let's start at the beginning. We can start the registration by creating an opportunity. When this opportunity is successful, we can use the data that is already filled in to create a quotation. Customer agrees to the quotation, but we will be creating a project. Some projects need purchasing. This can be used in a broader sense. So for example, you can set up the purchasing for items uh, you need within the project. Let's say I need brochures for my marketing campaign. I order these brochures via Exact Online so I can keep an eye on the budget before even receiving an invoice. Another example is when I need to outsource some work. I want to hire a self-employer Via Exact Online, I can send the order and again, make sure the budget is still okay. If we go down from project, we find work breakdown structure. This tool can help you define the budget by making deliverables, activities, and expenses. I will do a little deep dive when we go to the demonstration. Next to the work breakdown structure, you see the possibilities to work with a capacity planning tool and to register absence and leave. When work is done, hours can be registered with the Exact Online app or via the browser. If needed, they can be approved internally and externally. That means the timesheet can be sent to the customer so that they can approve this, which will lead to lesser questions when receiving an invoice, which will lead to quicker payments. The purchase orders that need to be charged and the hours that are registered will lead to an invoice proposal when your project is based on time and material. When the project is based on fixed price, the invoice proposal will show the invoice terms. This all is linked to the financial administration, so no extra work is needed to process this. Now let's have a look at Exact Online project management. We open a browser and enter our login information. Here we see the cockpit I have set up as my homepage. The blue bar shows the following. Upper left, we see in which administration I am active. And if I slide a little right, we see a search bar where I can look up relations, entries, and so on. Next to that, you will find our app center and the support portal for help. In the upper right corner, we see my name. Here I can set up my personal preferences, such as the homepage or for example, language. So if I follow the process as just described, I will start with creating an opportunity. Please know that working with opportunities and quotations is optional. You can also start directly with creating a project. As you can see, I added the client information. There are some subjects I would like to address a little bit more. I can add a category, which will come in handy when I want to start a campaign based on a certain category of opportunities. Next to that, I can link an already existing project, but because this is new business for me, no project is linked. If we go a bit down below, we see the forecast information for this opportunity. In this stage, this opportunity has a probability of 20%. If we go to a next stage, this probability will automatically in increase. Which percentages are set up is up to you. And last but not least, I can organize my next action. I save the opportunity. In this screen, we can see an overview of how this opportunity is doing, what the forecast is, and if I want to go to the next stage. So we're going to create a quotation. The general information of the opportunity is set up in the quotation. I only have to add what the quotation is about. As you can see, I have selected two items, design and campaign strategy. I can enrich the quotation by using the notes areas. When it's ready to send, I can add an attachment. Normally, now we have to wait until we hear something from the prospect. If you want to keep track on your quotations, you use the overviews to see which quotation is reaching its ex expiration date. Luckily, this prospect is very quick in making decisions and tells us that they accept this quotation. So I click on the button accept, and now I can create a project. 
We also see that we can create an invoice or add this quotation to an existing project. This will come in handy when there is a request for additional work. For now, we will create a new project. I filled in the project code. All other information is automatically filled in by the quotation. And down below, we see that I can specify my budget details. This is referring to the work breakdown structure. We have created the project and this is the project card. Here we find an overview of all realized time and what invoices have been sent. We can go to the work breakdown structure or see what purchase orders are made. For now, we'll have a quick look at the work breakdown structure. If you want to know more about this topic, please contact us so we can help. So this is the budget based on the quotation we have made earlier. I can imagine this looks quite basic. Therefore, I also have a budget with more stages in another project. So this project is based on five stages. Every stage has its own activities. This way I can keep track of my project in detail. I will now register some time. I've selected a project and the software automatically fills in the rest. So what account it is for, uh, which activity and which hour type has to be used. And you're free to use this otherwise. So if you don't set up an hour type, you can use whatever hour type you want. When I submit these hours, I have to approve the hours before I will see them in the result of my project. If you don't work with approval, you can adjust the settings. Now I am ready to send the first invoice. Because we made this a fixed price project, I set up some invoice terms, a first payment and a last payment. Here we see the amount of the first payment. If I want to know more about this amount, I can click on it and see what it's all about. Maybe you charge some purchase invoices or if the project is based on time and material, the amount is not what you expected it to be. This way you can have control over what it is that you invoice. I want to close off with an overview of my projects. This overview shows us the current state of all active projects. What are the budgeted costs and what is realized? What is the progress based on the time that is registered and which sales invoices have been sent? This way I can see what needs my attention and always have a real-time overview of my projects. And that's what Exact Online for Project Management looks like. If you would like to request a more extensive demonstration of Exact Online, please get in touch with us. Thank you for listening. Yeah.